Hey guys, it's Stephanie, and I am here with a very small haul, but it was a really good haul, and um, you all can hear my dog barking in the background. Um, I had seen a video, um, put something here in the screen so you all know you're actually seeing something. I had, um, how about that? I had seen a video of Tuesday morning yesterday, I think it was, or this morning, um, it was posted a couple of days ago, and I honestly don't even know where the lady was that had posted it, but there was a lot of, uh, like, Tim Holtz things and some uh, Doris embossing folders and just some neat stuff. And um, I had commented on her uh, channel that I had not seen that stuff at Tuesday morning, but I actually hadn't been there for about a week and a half, and I typically go about every week just to see if they have any, you know, new goodies in. Um, so I went today and, um, they had so much of the Tim Holtz, um, alterations and the Stampology. They had a lot of the stamp sets. They had a lot of the dies. Um, so anyways, I, I got a few things, you know, I didn't really need anything, but I did get a few things cause they were really uh, good deals and they were all things that I thought I would use. So I just want to show you real quick. Um, what I picked up. Um, so um, the, I picked up, and I'm kind of doing this backwards what I normally do it because I've just got such a few things. I did not have any black Baker's Twine, and um, this was 99 cents. I can't, I, I don't know that I've ever seen it for 5.99, so I'm not sure where. I know it's We Are Memory Keepers, but in, in any light, I was really happy to get that. Um, Four ninety nine cents, and um, in their clearance section, I picked up these just these really pretty fibers. They're kind of a, they're not really a true silver. They're almost, they're like a silver with the palest color of maybe mint. Um, it's not exactly a true silver, but anyway, so this was two forty nine at twenty percent off. Um, but I thought that would be really pretty. Some fibers. Um, I picked up these Seven Gypsies little ephemera pack for 99 cents, um, and honestly haven't opened it yet. I'm not even sure what's in there, and I'm doing this one-handed, so I can't open it, but, um, I love ephemera, so it really, you know, I couldn't go wrong with it, no matter what it was in it. Um, I do not have any, or I did not have any Tim Holtz dies. I now have one. I did pick up this, uh, Alterations Sizzix die, and it's the, uh, key and the locket, and I thought that would be really cute, like on a, on a mini book project, um, to cut it out instead of cardstock, maybe to cut it out with some chipboard or something. I don't know. I'm sure I can do something really cool with that. So I was really happy to get that. They had, they had a lot of the Doris, um embossing folders. These are the ones that are, uh, it says $4.99. I know our Joanne store sells them for $3.99. Um, but any, in any light, they were $0.99. Cents. So I just picked up a couple. I got this Christmas one. I thought was kind of neat. I didn't have anything like that one. And then this one is just kind of a simple, I can pick it up here, a simple borders, flower border. Let's see if I can hold my camera up a little bit long. I'm sorry for the glare. I normally do this at my craft table, but since I just had a few things, I just thought I'd do it while I was sitting here. And then um, this was on clearance. This is the grunge board. Uh, the Tim Holtz Ideology Grunge Board, and I ended up getting it for three dollars and twenty cents. I I've not priced it in the store, so I don't know if that eleven ninety nine is a true price, but um, probably is. But anyway, so that was a good deal. And then the last thing I got, I absolutely love. Um, I'm not even going to go into my spiel about papers, except you guys know I don't need them. But when I come across ephemera paper like this or vintage images um it's gone it's mine <laughs> i can't even if i just look at it sometimes i just pick them up and look through it and ooh and all um this was 2.99 at seven gypsies it is double-sided it's not a really thick paper and i'll try to do this because um 
since I'm holding my camera with one hand. It's got a lot of images of the same. It's got like maybe four sheets, I guess. Four or five sheets of the same. So you can see the vintage images here. Ooh, I love those. I love them, love them, love them. Everybody that knows me knows. Mm. I just love this kind of stuff. When I was a kid, and I say kid lightly, I mean younger, like in my probably late teens, early 20s. I had this fascination with going through old houses, old abandoned houses. And my friends used to laugh at me because if we were out in the country, I had some friends that lived out in the country, and if we were out in the country, I would say, let's stop. Let's go. It's an old abandoned house. You know, weeds growing up. Let's go in it and see what we can find. I had this fascination. I was always, and I'll be honest, I didn't find anything, but I always hoped that I would find just something really cool. You know, find um, a vintage treasure. Not not like that would be worth money, but um, I did see some really cool wallpaper, old wallpaper at one time. But just, you know, something that would be very old and of a redeemable quality to me. Um, but, you know, usually it was just junk. I didn't go through that many, but... So this is the paper pad that I found, and like I said, anybody that knows me knows this is exactly the kind of stuff that I so love. I just really, really love it. So for $2.99, um, yeah, they, and they only had one. So, um, and then the only other thing, I did go to Walmart, and I did pick, I find, found this. There was only one of these, and this was $1.49, and they're just little wood veneers. They say transform mason. So I guess they're thinking you can use them with mason jars. I will probably just use them in projects. But um, for $1.49, there was quite a few in there. So that was my very small haul, but a, a very good one. Um, very excited to get these lovely little vintage things here. And um, anyway, so if you guys have a local Tuesday morning, like I said, I don't know where the lady lived at that um i the video that i saw but i saw the video i think i saw it this morning actually and i went out today um after i got off work and um checked my tuesday morning out and my tuesday morning did have a lot of the same things that she was showing on her video so um i was very excited about that so hope you guys are having a great day and uh thank you for watching bye